today we are going to discuss on developing blueprint and creating draft materials. The uh, project manager activities during the development of a blueprint, okay, and then we are going to identify several criteria for internal QA. What is QA? Quality assurance, Quality assurance of blueprint, okay, and then discuss the PM activities, project manager activities during the creation of draft materials okay and discuss several guidelines of the internal quality assurance of draft based on we are going to do that based on instructional design project management by Grier's 1992 okay so before this okay we have discussed overall about project management okay we have discussed uh, the uh, 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 the models okay like eddy models how we are going to use eddy models how we are going to use um, work breakdown structure wbs okay and how we are going to use uh, rapid prototyping and so on okay we have compared all the uh, models for our project management okay so uh, this week we are going to go on details okay in details on the phase two okay phase two okay phase one okay phase one okay we assume that step one determine the project scope okay project planning we have planned okay our project okay what we are going to do and so on okay and then we organize the project okay uh, which uh, models that we are going to use whether we are going to use AD work breakdown structure WBS rapid prototyping or etc okay we can choose either one for our project and we have done this okay we have decided okay what we are going to do what is what our project is okay so we are going to phase two the instructional development okay so um, in step three Okay, phase two, step three, we are going to gather the information. Okay, e everything that we need, every information that we need, we are going to uh, gather the information. Okay, and then step four, we are going to develop the blueprint. Then we are going to uh, create draft materials. Okay, step six, test draft materials. Step seven, produce master materials. Okay, this one we are going to discuss this week. And the step six and seven we are going to discuss next week. Okay. However, we I I assume that everybody, okay, every one of you, okay, have already done this step. Okay, with our project, our seminar project, we have done this one. Okay, but maybe not according to you know according to whatever you know, your prior knowledge, whatever whatever experience that you had before. Okay. So today I'm going to discuss in detail. But step four and step five after you have uh, gathered all the information needed okay for the project okay so first we are going to discuss how we are going to develop the blueprint okay so blueprint is also called the design document okay or design plans or design specification okay so it can be a document, plans or specification that we needed for our project. Okay, so why is it needed? We have to save time. Okay, to save time for amendments, improvements or etc. Okay, so we really need the plans, the documents and the specification. What we need to do, what uh, the things that we need during the uh, the project management and so on okay so and to help produce higher quality training materials okay allowing reviewers to look at the early stage and make meaningful revisions okay at this stage okay for your seminar project you have done a lot of things okay you have uh, designed your plans okay and all the documentations and you have your specification what you are going to do what you need to do and so on and at the moment you need to produce higher quality materials okay for your seminar okay so allowing reviewers okay reviewers are yourselves okay the uh, committee of the project 
Okay, so what you are going to do, what need to be revised? Okay, for example, for keynote speakers, are you going to invite other keynote speakers or maybe uh, uh, allowing space keynote speaker? For example, okay, to uh, if let's say one of the keynote speakers are not able to come, okay, or maybe uh, they are, we sometimes uh, maybe they think that uh, they are into the topics, but when we ask them, maybe it is not under the topics that they are expert in. Okay, so you need to revise that. Blueprint consists of the big picture description of the instructional materials and course flow. Okay, the big picture. Okay, the overall picture of what you are going to do. Okay, and then a list of specific performance objectives okay what objectives that you have okay and a description of instructional strategies okay a detailed outline of content and a summary of media and materials okay the big picture is your overall what the things that you are going to do okay for example the seminar okay the seminar on education towards 21st century learning okay so when you are looking at the seminar okay education towards 21st century learning you as the project manager need to know what is the 21st century learning okay the big picture if you as project manager do not know what is 21st century learning then how are you going to look at the big picture Okay, so as project manager, you need to go back and do research. Okay, what is 21st century learning all about? What consists of 21st century learning? Okay, so and then a list of specific performance objectives. So what are you going to have in the seminar? Okay, if you look at 21st century learning, you are going to see what is expected of the learners to get from the seminar okay so what do they expect when they go there they are going to learn something about uh, entering workforce in the 21st century okay what they have to learn what they have prepared to prepare themselves before entering the workforce it might be different from the 21st century uh, workforce that we have now Okay, maybe the 21st century uh, workforce will need them to be more uh, technology nat natives, meaning that they have to be competent in technology or uh, not only uh, ICT technology but the technology within their area, specific areas. Okay, so we have to do this the a list of spe specific performance objectives. And then a distribution of instructional strategies. So how are we going to do that? Okay, instructional strategies. So, for example, in the seminar, we are going to invite keynotes from different areas. Okay, different areas. Okay, uh, our strategies is to look at the 21st century learning and see what is needed. So we need uh, maybe job street, for example. Okay, the job street person will tell the uh, participants what is needed in the 21st century job okay what they need to bring with themselves okay in 21st century uh, 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 to get a job in 21st, 21st century okay and then uh, what gadget what uh, uh, technology that they need to uh, no, okay. The the latest technology and how education in twenty first century is all about. Okay, how? Okay, the approach. Okay, the approach to learning, the approach to teaching in twenty first century. So, the instructional strategies is very important. Okay, and then a detailed outline of the content. Okay, so what we are going to do during the seminar, and then a summary of media and material. Okay, what sort of media are you going to use? Okay, uh, uh, it's, it relates to how are you going to promote, how, what media are you going to use during the seminar and all the medias that included in the seminar. Okay, so, and materials, what materials are you going to use? So, this will be 
a very detailed in blueprint you need to detail all this okay as project managers you are all the project manager managers so these are the activities during the development of the blueprint okay i think all of you have involved in your seminar project you have involved in all these uh, activities okay so the yellow one is the manager's role you have to plan you have to stimulate action okay and then you have to intervene okay then your activity will include brainstorm develop the blueprint qa quality assurance distribute to reviewers and then obtain feedback and sign off okay so first you have to review budget and schedule this is the most important one okay budget okay at the moment we don't know okay whether our budget is good okay where are we going to get the money okay so we need to review our budget and schedule okay whether our schedule is good okay is it okay uh, for the participant to have the parallel session for example okay and then discuss instructional alternative you have discussed this actually in this uh, your seminar planning okay for example do we need a forum okay do we need a workshop then we have discussed no we don't need a workshop but we need a demonstration okay so that is the instructional alternatives okay and then intervene reduce alternatives to a realistic few okay meaning that if we we are not able to do it okay we need to do a realistic alternative okay reduce alternatives to a realistic few meaning that if we are not able to do the demonstration a lot of demonstration then we reduce it okay according to uh, what we can do okay so and then we are going to develop the blueprint find or make examples of blueprints okay so you find or make examples of blueprint okay share examples with designer and set deadlines and then examine samples for each instructional blueprint okay for example last week a co already gave me the um brochures okay brochures uh, it is very uh, is it is it was a very simple brochure okay but the content is all good okay maybe i as a um designer or I, I as the uh, advisor okay as the advisor i can i could advise co okay you need to include this you need to reduce you don't have to yeah i think before before uh, uh, last week okay uh, co were asking for the keynotes biodata and so on but when i see the brochures you did not include the biodata so i think that was good because you don't need you don't actually need the biodata okay ah uh, yes but the brochures because it is limited but you have mentioned in the brochures the website so if they would like to see the biodata of the keynotes then they could go to they can go to the website so i think the brochure itself is already good okay so that is how we share okay maybe you can share with other people to have their opinion on the brochure but i think for me it is good okay and then as a mean samples of each id's blueprint okay you need to uh, uh, as a mean samples for example roslan's book okay um program book so not only you okay you as the project manager uh, review but you need to someone else to look at it okay just now I, I i went to see the deeds and he he has seen the uh, your proposal and he said it was good it is good so he is happy with it okay so i think the examination of whatever you do is not only you the committee do but someone outside okay they can evaluate because they see from different perspective okay and then the quality assurance okay so we have to assemble the quality assurance criteria okay what quality okay that we need to uh, make sure okay uh, within our seminar okay we don't want uh, you know a very what we say chacha merba seminar we need it to be very quality one okay so 
then we get blueprint from each instructional designer and quality assurance and then provide feedback okay so we feedback we always need feedbacks okay for our uh, during the development of the blueprint and then distribute to reviewers prepare sponsor as an SME what is SMEs No, <laughs> subject matter experts. Okay, <laughs> so we have to prepare sponsor. Okay, and then subject matter expert. Okay, so I subject sponsor, not sponsor, but look for SME. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but the sponsor must not be the SME. Maybe they are not expert in the. Uh, for example, the 21st century learning. Okay, so the expert must be uh, might be the the date dean, for example, or the director of CDAE, for example, because they they are the experts. Okay, subject matter experts. So you need to distribute to the uh, to the SME and sponsor. Okay, because you need to like uh, for example, you uh, need to give the sponsor the paperwork so that they will know what what happened during the seminar okay and then send, send blueprint and provide guidelines for review and then call and check progress okay and lastly we need to <coughs> obtain feedback and sign off okay set up meeting for feedback okay meetings are really important okay to know what happened okay each of the committee need to present whatever they have done and whatever they have not done yet okay so start meeting review blueprint page by page each of the items need to be reviewed okay no skip okay and then keep team focus and then opt in sign off okay everybody in the team need to be focused okay the process of brainstorming instructional strategies i think you have done this okay Conducted after gathering info step during brainstorming need to review the budget and schedule as the boundaries and then review some instructional alternatives fit the budget and schedule discuss them and reduce them to a realistic uh, few okay we have done this for our <coughs> seminar okay we have conducted gathering for info we have all the infos we have brainstormed what do we need to do what uh, the keynotes, okay. I think you uh, at the moment, okay, in your uh, proposal, okay, in your, um, I haven't seen uh, a specific, okay, a specific uh, notes on what the topic, the keynotes are going to discuss. Okay, you have put it like in technology and innovation. Who, okay, and uh, I can't remember the details, but you have not think of specific topic on what they have to discuss okay for example for the job street person okay you are going to invite somebody from job street right so what is the area that they are going to discuss or he or she is going to discuss okay they, in the 21st century uh, learning seminar Okay, are they? Is he or is she going to uh, like focus on just getting a job? What uh, what um, the need of the workforce today? Okay, I think we need to you all as a committee. You need to uh, give him or her a specific topic related to the education towards twenty uh, first century skill. Meaning that, for example, if you want to focus on teaching and learning, okay, you need to tell them. Okay, for example, for IPG students or PPIP students, what? Okay, what if when they graduate, okay, there are no jobs in schools for them. So, what job street can help them? Okay, to prepare themselves when they enter the workforce okay without having the uh, ministry of education to post them to schools okay what they can do by themselves to go find a job okay at the moment the in teachers education okay when we uh, uh, 
pre-service teacher graduated, they only waited at home, okay, for their where whatever uh, they are posted, okay. They don't know what to do, unless uh, until okay. Some some of my students they waited like one years now, okay, one and more years before they are posted to some schools, okay. So why not? Okay, the job street person will help them to say, okay, you don't have to wait for the Ministry of Education to post you somewhere. Okay, Job Street can help you by whatever, 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 or you can prepare yourself to go to, there are lots of uh, private institutions, for example, INTI College, for example. Master yes, so <laughs> if they don't know that they have to do Masters, so they need to Upgrade their skills, right? Ah, they need to upgrade their skills. They have to prepare themselves for further education. Or there are uh, private schools, international schools, and so on. Okay, if they are in um, universities like USM, okay, like USM, they they are preparing themselves to go to schools. Okay, they are not prepared to go to private schools. But if like, let's say they do education in UNICEL, okay, it is a, a private university, okay, they know where to find a job. They are not going to school to get a job. They are going to uh, private schools, definitely. And they got paid very well actually in private schools. Bet much, much better than they are going to be a teacher in school. Yeah. Even now government school is not from that private. No, not really. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, maybe lah. But I think that they they should try to get other alternatives than depending on the Ministry of Education to post them to somewhere. Okay, so that I think that is the task of the job street in our seminar to you know open the students' eyes to the whole new world out there. Okay, not only. Uh, uh, relying on Ministry of Education. Okay, so we have to put a specific topic for the keynotes for the uh, our talk, our um, uh, keynote speakers. Okay, what they are going to focus on. Okay, so that will be the interest for the participants. Okay, after discussing the alternative, like I said, for Job Street, what they are going to do for uh, the director of CDE, what he is going to talk about. Okay, and so on. So, we are going to provide team with any recommended blueprints formats. Okay, and that including specific method of outlining required sections of blueprint page layout and etc. Okay, all this have been done by Co in our uh, web page. Okay, our brochure. Then share with the designers. Uh, he is the designers as well. Okay, and then any suggestion of improvement. Okay, have the project manager seen the website? Everybody? No response. No response. <laughs> ah, okay. I assume that everybody has seen the web page. Okay. Ah, so, do you agree with uh, co colors? What the information inside there? Okay, you need to give some suggestion. If yes, update the example and distribute yeah, it I into the team. <laughs> okay. So, you need agree or disagree? If you agree, then what? If you disagree, what? You need to tell Ko what is to be amended. Okay? And then, already. too late already. <laughs> no, the event is not, has not started yet. Okay, so. Yes, but the important information should not be uh, amended. But there's something, you know, maybe the layout is not that interesting. Not 21st century enough, for example. Uh, so they can uh, comment on that. Any response from the public? No. <laughs> okay, and then after a few days of development, you, okay, the project manager needs to review a few sample pages. Now we have done this uh, this part. Okay, no sample pages, but still Roseland's one is uh, can be still be reviewed until May, right? Okay. Okay, then. Quality assurance of the blueprint. Okay, the blueprint itself has to be uh, uh, checked. Okay, 
After designers complete a first draft, review it and recommended revision. Okay. For example, during your email session, I see. Okay. Uh, maybe Hamida or Hanuna or. Uh, you know, you have uh, said something about okay, it is this is not like this, this is like that. Okay, so during the communication, that is the revision, the uh, email communication, the revision, the suggestion, are all there. Your quality assurance is based on a set of predetermined criteria. Okay, during the meetings, you have predetermined. Okay, what we have to do. Okay, but during the email, there's something wrong. Okay, maybe something is not correct, not right. Okay, so we need to revise. Remind SME, subject matter expert and sponsors. They will receive the blueprint suit. Okay, ask for a meeting for their feedback. Okay, okay. Before this, you are you you, you met between of you. Okay, and last week I uh, told uh, oh Lau is not here. I told Lau that we are going to. Meet the deal, okay. To review, okay. You have to to uh, describe to him, to tell him what our planning is, okay. What we have to do and so on, okay. So I have met him today, but I haven't uh, decide on the uh, date yet, okay. But you have to present whatever you have done, okay. What is the problem and so on, okay. So this is. These are the criteria, okay? Criteria for internal quality assessment, quality assurance for blueprint, okay? So you need to evaluate the objectives and their flow, okay? The flow must be correct, okay? And then evaluate objectives, high and low level objectives, okay? For example, during your seminar, which one will be the you know, low adjectives, meaning they have to listen, only listen, okay? And then evaluate the match between objectives and planned activities, okay? Are students given opportunities to practice their objectives, okay? Are the participants, your participants will be able to do something during the seminar, okay? Are they going to just sit and listen, uh, okay? Examine the summary of materials, okay? What materials involve? What, uh, uh, what you are going to use later on? What you are need? What you do? You need now? Okay. Examine the rationale for the design based on the result of task analysis and info gathering. For example, just now I mentioned that the co-design for the website. Maybe you said it is not twenty-first century enough. Maybe it's just plain. You need to highlight that the uh, the technology. Okay how the technology is applied in the website so that people will be interested okay it is not the same as the normal website <laughs> evaluate the content outline okay review the description of modules chapters etc okay and then evaluate the summary of deliverables to determine conformity to budget and schedule and then consider the implementation requirement okay at the moment we only look at the uh, what we have to do, okay, the immediate, the immediate uh, task that we have to do, but we haven't considered the implementation requirement. For example, during the seminar, who is going to in charge of the equipment? Okay, what if the equipment is not uh, working during the seminar? Who is going to go to PTPM, for example, to get uh, the technician? Are uh, we going to request for technician and so on? So. The implementation requirement is not discussed yet for your seminar. So you need to consider the implementation. Okay. At the moment, I can see you have uh, come to this stage. Okay. But this stage, you haven't been discussed yet. Okay. So you need to consider that. Okay. So distribute to reviewers. After the blueprint is completed, it is ready to distribute to reviewers. Okay. So last week I have, I have given hundreds, hundreds of uh, brochures to uh, teachers. Okay, so we didn't include a brief cover letter. We just distribute the uh, brochures. Okay, but it is advisable if you have a brief cover letter, for example, for the keynotes or for the, for example, you are going to invite the VC. Okay a brief cover letter or a brief description of the seminar 
is needed okay and then contact reviewers whether they have received the blueprint any initial reaction progress the review for example if you invite the keynote okay you post the letter so you need to call them okay uh, dear sir have you you call them okay prof have you received our invitation okay is the a topic relevant to your area so uh, what do you think uh, uh, the topic that you are going to discuss during the seminar okay uh, will you be able to provide some um, abstract for example for our uh, program book okay so you need to contact the reviewers okay so that is one of the important tasks obtain feedback and sign off need to orchestrate the subject matter experts and reviewers feedback okay possibility of disagreements okay as example sponsors as and SMEs or between SMEs okay among your design team okay <coughs> but you have faced this one okay possibilities of disagreement okay one of the keynotes that you expect third to agree disagree then what you are going to do okay and uh, just now i i uh, uh, i told the dean that uh, you, uh, you invited him for uh, to be the moderator for the forum okay he said yes but but what if suddenly he think that okay uh, maybe i want to be the keynote speaker okay so you need to find another moderator or you need to adjust uh, the keynotes and so on so yeah possibility of disagreement disagreement is very high okay and then need a chain of command command to help make decision effectively okay you need okay how to make the effective decision in this case okay because you are dealing with uh, very important people very high level people okay and if they disagree in something and you will be in trouble all the seminar schedule maybe need to be changed and so on so it is very uh, a very hard difficult task the project decision making okay this is the process okay subject matter expert policy makers and other resources sponsors okay this is the critical part who are the sponsors okay and then here we have designers you are all in here okay everybody is in here designers media producers evaluators trainers and project managers you are all here and the keynotes okay the whatever uh, the moderator and the students that you are going to use the participants sponsor are all here okay and from there we decide what to do okay obtain feedback and sign off okay so uh, project manager and sponsor will then obtain a unified set of recommendation from the people who report to them okay and ready for sp sponsor feedback meeting okay for our seminar we don't have to have sponsor feedback meeting but we have to have um uh, verified letter okay they verify that they are going to sponsor okay so that not uh, you know at uh, when we are near to the seminar they say oh sorry 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 we cannot sponsor then you are all in trouble okay so you need to get the sponsorship ready then during sponsor feedback meeting if you are going to have sponsor feedback meeting okay you will walk through the blueprint okay they will okay for example in Roseland's program book he already uh, mentioned that if you sponsor we will put your name in the program book okay so they will walk through the blueprint and ask the sponsor page by page uh, do they say okay i paid five thousand my my uh, logo is just a small one i need one page for my logo then Roslan need to adjust okay but he only paid 50 50 dollars but he said he want to uh, a big full cover. Uh, full cover then we have to discuss again okay you pay only 50 ringgit we need you know we cannot put your uh, logo for one page so 
obtain a closure on the project step for sign off and approval purposes. Okay, and then the sign statement will will acknowledge approval from the sponsor, <coughs> and that any changes in the structure content will lead to a schedule delay or in or increased cost. Okay, meaning that if let's say we have decided for Roseline, okay, the book. The uh, program book uh, is, is decided like this But suddenly You say We have to change Because the sponsor said like this as this But Roseland already sent The draft to the publisher Then the cost will increase Okay Maybe they have to uh, Tear out one page Okay And then change it to another page Then the cost will increase So it is very critical Okay the feedback, the final draft is very important so that there will be no other changes, okay? And then we are going to create draft materials. Just a, a review of the first uh, part just now, okay? We are going to do this one. We have done this, developed the blueprint. Now we are going to create the draft materials, okay? So, blueprint represents the skeleton, okay? Just now you were doing the skeleton or the bare bones of the course. Okay, or the seminar, or whatever you are going to do of the project. Okay, draft materials flesh out the skeleton of the blueprint. Include introduction, translation, activities, exercise, job aids, test, text, and rough draft graphic treatment of contents, script for audiovisual media, flowcharts, and storyboard for CBT or CBI. Okay, so meaning that in draft materials. All the activities should be finalized. Okay, so everything. If uh, let's say you are going to <coughs> do um, courseware, okay, for example, courseware, you need the script for audiovisual. Then it should be ready. Okay, it should be ready for the um, audiovisual. Uh, maybe the video. Um, uh, what we say uh, Whatever you, you want to do Okay During the uh, Audio visual Audio visual Okay And then job aids Tags and so on Okay This one needs to be confirmed Three things in common Created by quick and easy production techniques Okay May be revised quickly and easily Okay, they contain the same level of details as the finished course. Okay, so by now, Roseland's uh, program book should be almost ready. Lah. If you want to change, it will be a very, very small change. Okay, for example, maybe um, need to change 10 minutes of the seminar, uh, then okay, th that can be done. Okay, but not uh, the overall. Okay, maybe if you want to change the date, for example, uh, that will be, you know, a very pro big problem. Okay. Okay. Why create them to prevent wasted time and effort? Okay, to ensure a quality finished product, to be reviewed by sponsor, to be tested by members of target audience. Okay. So, let's say you are going to produce. A module for the seminar Okay, so The audience, the participant Might be reviewed Let's say uh, you, we, we are going to invite some lecturers from uh, PPIP So uh, we, we say, okay what do, uh, We just show one of the uh, Proposal or the draft material And say, okay, we are going to uh, uh, Hand out this uh, Module for the participant Can you review it? And is it, uh, what do you ask, What you expected? For the seminar and so on Okay So it should be tested And your draft should include enough To allow <coughs> thorough review By subject matter experts And the sponsor Okay Include samples or prototypes With those features of page layout And other production that are essential To make the course work Okay And then include enough logistical polish To allow the course to be accurately Tested with members of target audience And exclude any features that are costly to produce or revise 
Okay, meaning that uh, as I said just now, the draft should be almost finished. Okay, uh, we we try to make less error. Okay, for this finished draft. Okay, this final draft. Okay, so if you have samples or prototypes of the switches, okay, it must be similar. Okay, to whatever uh, you you are going to produce later on. Example, instead of producing rough cut video tips for reviewers, probably provide them with detailed script and storyboards. Okay, or for CBT, produce a prototype lesson. Okay, so meaning that um, you don't have to produce the exact one, but maybe the one with details that needed by the subject matter expert or sponsors. Okay, project manager's role. Okay, the last activity, developing the blueprint and obtain sponsors approval okay like i said just now okay whether they want a big logo or a small logo or whether they want their uh, logo to be published in the uh, during the seminar for the background the backdrop for example so you need to have their pro, uh, approval okay now your team is ready to create a draft draft materials okay then these are the subset. Create draft materials according to blueprint specs, quality assurance. Okay. When you see from here to here, it is all the quality assurance. Okay. Revise, look at, revise, you know, and then distribute to reverse. Okay. The process, okay, is not um, a single process. Okay. Meaning that you have to look at it. Meet the sponsors and then revise and you know until all parties are, are satisfied with whatever we plan. Okay? Manage activities during creating draft materials, same as uh, the the previous one. Okay. Manager's role, plan, stimulate, action and intervene. Okay. So we have Create draft materials, quality assurance, distribute to reviewers, obtain feedback, sign off, revise for testing. Meaning that these are all the quality assurance that we need to do during the process. Okay, so you need to know step by step what you have to do. Okay, for example, to create draft materials, the plan is to find or make example of draft, and then. Share example with designers, set, set deadline, deadlines and so on. So, if you see this, these are all to make sure whatever we plan during our project will be able to be done. Okay. We hope to have less mistake, less errors during the project. Okay. So, the quality assurance is very important. The format is important. Okay, make sure everyone is using the same format. Okay, her name is uh, doing the letter. Okay, so if you have a logo or for the 21st century learning, at a seminar, uh, the font for example, seminar education towards 21st century learning. Okay, you are going to use Times New Roman. Okay, 14 point, red color. Okay. Everybody need to use the same font, same color and so on. Okay? Uh, if you use italic, then everybody need to use italic. So, it will be something uh, standard for all uh, project managers. Okay? So, don't, uh, don't make, differentiate between one uh, person to, one, uh, to other project managers. Okay? Share the sample materials with instructional designers before your team develop them. Okay, so you you need to highlight them during the meeting. You need to highlight. Okay, please every member of the team you need to use this one. Okay, I uh, you know you need to make sure that the program book and the website and the brochures use the same format. Okay, not the uh, uh, program book use the other format. The website look totally different. Okay, this is very important. 
After few days, ask the instructional designer to provide a few sample pages for your review. Okay, if you are going to include uh, instructional designer. After instructional designers complete the first draft, you should review them and recommend revision. Again, okay? still revision, revision, revision. Okay, you have met, I think, more than five times for your meetings, and you still revising whatever you do. Okay, before they are distributed to SMEs again and then sponsored to review. Okay, if you see from our first slide just now, I don't know how many times we review. We review and we revise. Okay, lots of revision. And quality assurance is according to a set of predetermined criteria that designers are familiar with to improve the quality of the drafts and helps you as project manager to keep in touch with the details of the course. Okay. Okay, several options. Option one, ask instructional designers to present you with one complete module lesson at a time. For example, Ko is the instructional designer, then he has to present. Okay, he has to present his website. Roslan has to present his program book. And then you have to um, uh, make sure that the format is similar. Ah, so he has to, uh, the picture. Ah, so the banner should be according to whatever we have agreed in the meeting. Yes, 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 yes. Even the uh, banner and the uh, program book. Maybe the program book should use the same banner as uh, the website. Okay, if the program book use uh, different banner, then the format is not the same. Okay, so if we put the program book and the website and the voucher. Uh, brochure, no voucher, no voucher. Okay, the brochure, the brochure, it need to be uh, in the same format. Okay. Option two, have the uh, instructional designers complete chunks of course component and turn it each chunk as it is completed. This is option two is quite hard. Okay. So, I prefer option one. Okay. So guidelines for internal quality assurance of drive. Review. Another review. Make a broad brush review of draft materials and determine is the overall flow and structure as promised in the blueprint? Is all the content promised in the blueprint? Okay, we have discussed this okay during our meeting. So you need to review and review again. Okay. And then review the draft materials in detail and determine is there a match between the objectives? Are there skills or concepts left? Do you give enough examples? Do they make sense? Is the writing style appropriate? Are the sentences short and to the point? And blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think this part is important for Samsia for her module. She is developing a module. So she needs to review the draft materials of her module using this one. This is very important and she will not be the one who do the review. Okay? And I am as her supervisor also not be the, who will not be the one who review this. She needs somebody else who haven't seen the module to do the re review for her. Maybe? Yes, maybe because you know, outside person will uh, uh, will be able to see the errors that we who always see the, the uh, module or the course, you, we haven't seen it, okay? For example, if you write a thesis, okay, for your doctorate, okay? You write a thesis, every day you look at it, you read it, you read it, you read it, okay? You think, okay, there's no errors, okay? When you submit it to the examiner, okay, the examiner will see so many errors. Why? Because we have like blend to the content, blend to what we do, okay? So we cannot see our errors, our own errors. So the reviewer needs to be someone outside you who didn't even read our uh, course or materials beforehand. Okay, that is important, okay? Yes. <laughs> Does the author use enough advanced organizer? Okay, advanced organizer is very important. Okay, remember our, our advanced organizer? I think everybody have, maybe some of you haven't uh, been through advanced organizers. Okay, 
So, advance organizer is very important. Okay, look back and see Wh whoever haven't heard of advance organizer, you need to look at advance organizer. It is very important and very helpful for you to start with. Okay, is humor used in a way that will not offend certain group? Okay, for example, uh, maybe Samsia will be the MC. Okay, so she's going to use humor. Okay, the pro the project manager should look at her text. Okay, and see. Okay, whether the humor will not offend somebody. Okay. But actually, I don't know you. You know, unintentional one. Yes, that's why we need reviewers. Okay, everything needs to be reviewed. Ah, okay. Our text pages and screen when design our job is clear and simple to follow. For example, later on you are going to have uh, parallel sessions. Okay, so other directions you need to put directions. Okay, so that people will know where to go. Okay, will that be clear and simple? Okay, the person who's going to organize will need to look at it. Okay, the arrows and so on. Okay, are the job aids tied to the course we are practice exercise? A step by step exercise easy to follow. Do the materials meet the implementation requirement and applicable in the real world? Okay, so is the parallel session time the time? Okay, is okay? Is good? For, yeah, the, do the participants have enough time to walk from BT five one five one to Dewan Budaya, for example? So you need to know. So and then after drafts are completed, they are ready to be distributed to reviewers. Okay. Include brief cover letter. Help them focus on important issue. Okay. How are you going to help them focus on important issues? Okay. Maybe for the most important keynotes, you need to make it bold. For example, okay, to clarify your deadline for feedback. Okay. Contact reviewers again. Whether they have received the draft. Any initial reaction, progress of the review. Okay, still review, review, and review. Okay, project management is all about reviews. Okay, okay, same as just now. Okay, yes. Okay, it is the same again. Okay. We need to obtain feedback and sign off again. Okay. Okay. Still, we need to walk through the draft. Okay, ask the sponsor page by page. Need any changes? Update a closure on the project steps and so on. Okay, approval from sponsor is very important. Okay, very very important because we are going to get money from him or them or her. After the feedback meeting, all revisions are to be made by the design team. Okay, project manager needs to keep an annotated copy of the drafts and each check each revision against the annotated copy. You also need to set deadlines for revision. Then after revisions, compare them with the annotation. Okay, uh, so many revisions, so many drafts, and so on. Okay, summary. Okay, so in developing blueprint. We need brainstorm the instructional strategy, develop the blueprint. We need to look at the quality assurance, distribute to reviewers. We need to obtain feedback and sign off. Okay, and then in creating the draft materials, create draft materials, quality assurance, distribute to the reviewers, obtain, obtain feedback and sign off, and revise for testing. Okay, both <coughs> developing blueprint and draft materials are based on revision and review. Okay, that is very important. That's why in your project you always change. Okay? Keep changing, keep changing until it is perfect. But when you think it is perfect, it is still not perfect. Okay? That is the what you have to face that lah. Okay? You have to face that if you think it is perfect, it is still not perfect and you have to revise and revise until it is finished. Okay, any questions? No, clear. Alright. Okay, thank you.